Hello, welcome to this course. In this course, we will go through all the features and settings one by one in the Comsol Multiphysics software. This course is not a simulation course, so I will not solve any simulation and show you some result. That course is already there in my profile, you can check it out. In this course, I will focus on the different type of features and options we get in Comsol Multiphysics. So that when you are studying Comsol, uh, you get to know that what what things you can do in Comsol Multiphysics. So in one and a half hour, you'll get to know almost all the features which are embedded in Comsol Multiphysics and depending on your choice and interest, you can explore that particular function on feature and carry on with your needs. For example, you will see how to interpolate a function. We will also discuss about the probes how to add probes in your system to measure voltage, current and so on. We will also look in the feature in the geometry section where for example if you have two faces and you want to join the crack between them, uh, how to do that, what are the different features and so on. Also for example we will see how to draw a spear, um, how to draw a helix, how to draw a block, what is a work plane, what is the use of a work plane how to represent your 3D model in a 2D work plane. Um, all these uh, topics will go one by one. I will not go into extreme detail. This is just a walkthrough. So I'll just briefly explain the features. We will also learn a bit about piecewise and interpolation functions inside a material property. We'll also go through um, almost all the features inside the section of meshing which is very important. Uh, we'll take a 3D model and then we'll try to show um, the different way you can mesh a given model and we'll go one by one and show you different properties along with the manual meshing. After that we'll discuss about the study where we'll just run over the different study sections and then we'll talk a bit about parametric sweeps and then finally the most important part that is the post processing so i'll go one by one with the result section where i'll try to explain to you with an example of a model of one centimeter cube and i'll go one by one to show you a 3d plot the 2d plot and all those things. At first I will show you the volume plot and then I will show you the arrow volume and then uh, I'll try to explain what does it mean uh, with respect to the type of simulation you are doing and then uh, the surface plot, the 2D slice plots and then um, I will try to explain uh, how to draw isosurface of a given magnitude we will also go through the contour plot, the streamlined plot and rest uh, other plots. Uh, we will also go through the animation section where we can uh, show you how to animate your simulation. So that's it. Let's start learning from the console launch window and start learning. Thank you.